Okay, here's our setup. We have a netbook. USB cable goes to the logger. And the audio cable comes out the headphones of the pulse induction into the logger. We're going to use this 3 inch coil that I designed to do this plot on this test grid. It's a 6x6. Six six. I'm going to log it manually to show the targets behind. Okay, now to get started, we need to go up to um, File. We're just going to create a new site. Go to Open and select the root directory at the top of the list and then New Site. Create New Site. Uh, just backspace to take the new site word out and I'm going to put in Test 2 just for our test site. This can be any site you're currently working on. Okay, save those changes and then we're going to go up to file again and go down to data logging, select data logging and this is your data log screen, this is your real time screen. We're going to go ahead and go to settings and make sure that uh, test 2 is selected that's why we want to put the grids. You have to remember to do this. And then hit OK. Now, you're going to go to your logger. And I'm going to set up a 6x6 six six grid. And on the logger, it's going to say press start on program. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back to my program. I'm going to press the start button. And then I'm going to press the yes button that sends the grid size. You can see it there under value, 6x6 and also under the green. Now at that point you can start logging at any time. I'm gonna log this in manual mode. If you were doing a, a, a standard plot outside in the field, you'd prepare yourself, get yourself in the first position ready to go, and then um, start logging at any time. Now th again, this could be done in auto or manual, but for this small grid I'm just gonna do it in manual mode. Okay, so let's start logging. There's my first. Move it to the second position. Hit the log button. Each time you hit the log button, it sends the XY position and the value of the signal return back to the software. So this way you can see what you're actually logging as you go. Um, at this point the software uses a, a, a grayscale from black to uh, a white on the logging. I'm trying to see if I can get it um, changed to whatever plat you're currently using. If you notice in the background on the right there's a, a, a color plat that uh, it might be possible to have it done in that. So I'm talking to the software guy now and see if we can get something done where whatever plat you have selected um, as your default it'll log in that um, or show it as you log those colors of that plat. So we're just going to keep going. I'm on the uh, moving to the fifth row and going back the other direction and the um, at this point the, the blacker or the darker spots are high readings. The gray is a, a, is a lighter reading and I'm just about done here on the last row coming back. Now when it reaches the last and the logger sends the last plot you see the stop change back to start. At that point you want to save the um, it just changed to start. You want to save your plot you just sent from the logger. Okay. Now, you, what's good? The logger also stored this in the position, so you have a copy in the computer and you have a copy in the logger. So we're going to go ahead and um, save this, and you can name it whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to put uh, six by six test and uh, we're going to save that out and then I'm going to close it. 
hit the close button close it out so let's go back up to file and what we're going to do now we're going to view the plot we just did of that grid go to open and select you see it on the right side six by six tests and there it is now it's going to show up in the color plat that you have selected move over to graduated shade and to smooth everything out and you can see the positions there's a, a a lot of different color plats that you can make yourself there's a, um, a control or you can select any of these here uh, there's a control up in options that lets you um, make different color plats whatever different colors you want this this plat here the red and the green is the the max high points and low points this one here shows points all in between of your value the right side of the plat you notice the number that is your the value signal moving through the colors and as the other program when you move the mouse over you see the XY position and you see the single strength of the return uh, signal from the metal detector and this is what was behind the um, you see that piece between 4 and 5 there's a round washer on 14 there's a horizontal and there's a ring right in the center which match what's on the uh, screen that we just looked at and that's how the new software works hope you enjoy it